Hey guys, so welcome to my devil makeup tutorial. This is a collab video with Made You Look. I was really excited to do this collab slash nervous because I've never done like face painting or body painting before. Make sure you check out Made You Look's video and you subscribe to her channel if you haven't already. She's one of the most talented people on YouTube. Her videos are amazing, so make sure you check her out. So the inspiration for my look is from this picture right here. I'll show it to you on the screen. Um, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to do something not as literal. So it kind of reminds me of like Hunger Games type-ish, but it could still be like a devil lady. So yeah. Anyways, I think that's all I have to say. So let's get started. All right, so first things first, I look like a crazy sheep woman at the moment. So I'm using this white um, aqua color paint from Cryolan and it's just some these are special effects brushes so the paint I guess sticks to them less but to tell you the truth I've used white face paint from the Halloween store before and had better use with it this one you have to have an activator and the Halloween store makeup is way easier so I will link all of this stuff that I'm using down below I'm again using a red aqua color paint and a small angle brush and I'm just using this to go over the brows and I had covered them already with the white paint but I left my eyelid area blank and that was because I wanted to use a paint pot as an eyeshadow base because I had practiced it with the paint it was a little bit too thick. Um, so then I just took some red matte eyeshadow, this is from Morphe, and I wanted to get the lid right, nice and red, and I also wanted to get that up into the crease, and it's definitely not perfect, you guys, it's a little bit messy. So I took that white paintbrush with whatever was left over, and I tried to smooth that to make that into a nice gradation. Then I took the same red eyeshadow that I used in the crease and I used it to smudge out the lower lash line. Next I'm taking a red eyeliner. This is from Ben Nye and putting it in the waterline. Um, you should definitely test out your eye area with red pigments first. It's not recommended. I guess it can cause like a lot of irritation. This one was fine to use on me. So I really smudged that liner down there and then I took the eyeshadow and just smudged that line so that it looked very ghostly and also blended. Then I took the same lip liner pencil that we used in the eyes and I'm just going to use it to line the lips and I kind of wish I had um, not put the paint so much on my lips. I don't know what I was thinking when I painted them white. Um, and then I took a matte red lipstick. This is from Melt Cosmetics. Then I took my liquid liner, this is NYC liquid liner, my absolute favorite, and I wanted to do a really big dramatic wing, so I built it all the way up, up towards my eyebrows, and then I drag it back and slowly build the volume. I also took some matte black eyeshadow, this is from Makeup Geek, it's called Corrupt, and I put it on the tail of the wing and I dragged it over into the crease, kind of in what some people call the outer V area, and I did this because I wanted the eyes to look very, very villainous. And to finish the eyes, I added a quick coat of mascara before putting on some lashes. These ones are our Dell lashes. So now I wanted to do like a lace mask type thing just because I felt like it looked a little bit plain up top. So I took a small brush in this aqua color. Again, I wish I had just used the cream makeup from the Halloween store because um, the paint was not ideal. And I was just freehanding it, kind of making it, I wanted to make it into like a devil shape, kind of make the top look like horns. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just getting it outlined. I'm not really worrying about that line being perfect just yet. Then I went in with the shadow and I tried to smudge that line out and I'm getting the edge of the brush leaning it against that line because I wanted it to look really, I don't know, gradient and like glowing looking. I went in with a smaller flat brush and actually took a shadow that had a little bit of orange tint to it because it was looking kind of pink against the white and I tried to get even more precise in that line because I wanted it to be even more gradient. Um, I wasn't able to get very close with the other brush I was using, it was too close. Um, and then I went back in with the paintbrush and I refined that line and made it a lot thicker and it really just cleaned things up. Next I took the little brush, the same eyeliner brush, this is a Sigma brush, I'll list it below, and I made those little 
squigglies on the bottom and then here I was just kind of freehanding it like doing different lines I'm so sorry about this white mirror you guys it was really annoying um, and I was just kind of drawing random lines I had a couple inspo picks but nothing that was I was really using And then I just tried to do some random little details with the paintbrush and I even took a little bit of inspo from like the henna designs with the crisscrosses and the squiggly lines and stuff um, and really I was trying to keep these lines symmetrical but it was kind of challenging with the paint and the little brush so I just tried my best to keep everything even. And to finish up the face, I added a little bit of definition to the cheeks. I just used some contour powder from Anastasia and I probably could have been uh, cleaner with it but I was very eager at this point next I took some red contacts I will list the site that I got them below and oh boy they are not comfortable but I managed to get them in there and it really just looks devilish okay so now I'm going into the second half of this piece which is the body painting part I actually thought this was gonna be a lot harder than it was um, the hardest part was like getting over there on my shoulder um, so yeah I just used the same paint and a small flat brush and I outlined those lines and then made those um, squigglies this is directly inspired from the inspo pick in the beginning I really just had the pick open and was looking at it and this was a lot easier to do than I thought the lace mask was definitely the hardest once I got those lines down there, I took the same eyeshadow and the same eyeshadow brush and I just shaded out those lines like I did up on the face mask area with the same eyeshadow that we used before. And then basically I took the same flat brush and added little circles where all of those lines meet. For the outside of that collar area, I took a small brush and I added again those little squigglies and then crisscross lines in the middle. So that's the complete look. I hope you guys like it. If you want to know more about the hair and how to achieve that look, let me know in the comments below. So that was the whole look. I hope I didn't creep you guys out too bad. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Leave me your other video suggestions below. Make sure you check out Made You Look and subscribe to her channel if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hey guys! <laughs>